guys, this is Trenton from American Dream Vacations again. I'm going to show you how to properly connect a weight distribution hitch. A uh, weight distribution hitch is an awesome piece of equipment. It's going to redistribute the weight from the rear end of the truck to the rear axle of the truck. Uh, that in itself is going to drive the rear end of your truck up while driving the front end of the truck down. That will promote steering control, uh, which will also cut down on swaying. Uh, and lastly, it will offer a more rigid connection at the, at the trailer and truck connection. So, um, first thing you're going to do is lower the trailer onto the truck. You're going to lower it on there like any regular trailer connection. Uh, it will sag the truck at this point. And you're going to go ahead and lock the coupler in place. And you're going to go ahead and lift the trailer up as if you were removing it from the truck. Now because you've locked the coupler in place, it will begin to lift the rear end of your truck and that's okay. You want to lift it up one to three inches higher than level so that when you go back later to lower it, uh, it should level out. good you're gonna go ahead and grab your weight distribution bar and you're gonna insert it into the hitch head rotate it around your trailer should have these saddles in place or you should have had them installed when you got your hitch um, the idea here is to connect the chain to the saddle and you're gonna do this on both sides so you want to make sure that you have even length of chain uh, I personally like to start counting at the half link here uh, just in case you have a different total number of links, okay? So I'm going to lower the saddle down halfway and I'm going to find the, the proper link here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the sixth link. It'll vary between trailers, truck size, hitch heights. There's some variables there, but you have the flexibility to adjust that, okay? So once you've connected that ch chain link onto the lower hook of your saddle, you're going to put the uh, breakover bar or the, the bar that was provided with your, your equipment onto the top of the saddle, and, and then you're going to lift up, okay? Now understand this is, there's a lot of tension here, and it does require a lot of pressure to, to lift this properly. You want to make sure that you do this uh, with safety in mind, okay? You want to make sure there's nothing around this in case it gives way. You don't want this to spring down and hit you uh, or, or hit anything around you, okay? So you're going to lift this up carefully uh, while maintaining pressure. Find your locking mechanism. In this case, it's a little pin. It's going to, um, I'm going to relocate. You're going to insert it right here and lower it back down. Once you're confident it's in the locked position, you can release tension and, and pressure from the, the bar and you've done this side properly, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do the other side and we'll continue from there. Insert your weight distribution bar, rotate it around, count the same number of links that you counted on the previous side. Hooking up the sixth chain link, being sure not to have anything in way of the breakover bar and the saddle. I'm then locking it in place, and we're done. At this point, you're going to go ahead and lower the hitch back down, lower the trailer front back down onto the truck. Now all your weight is on the on the truck or off, off of the ground, uh, and your weight distribution bars are supporting most of that weight and redistributing it over the rear axle. So now you've properly hooked up your weight distribution hitch, and you can have a safe towing experience. Thanks again, Trenton from American Dream Vacations here. Look out for the next video on how to disconnect the weight distribution hitch.